Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Kristen with Monarch Plans and today I'll just be going through my plan with me for the week of April 6th through the 12th. Um, it's Easter week so I'm going to be using a kit from Planner Kate that's very like Easter specific. It's kit 218 and I just have the thick washi which has these like little colorful Easter eggs on them. Um, I got some of the thin washi. I got the sidebar and then some labels. Um, usually I just do the thin washi, but I really liked this pattern, especially for Easter week. So I'll be using this and then I'll also be using some stickers that um, I've made just for pretty much our situation that we're in now with like quarantine and stuff, like work from home meetings, um, stuff like that. So I made some very specific stickers just for like this situation. Um, and then just some other stickers as needed. Um, a lot of them are just leftovers that I have from prior kits and everything like that. Um, so I'm just gonna get started. I'm going to put the thick washi up here at the top this time. A lot of the times I'll do it at the bottom, but I actually like to have the bottom um, because I've been trying to keep track of like meals and then my um, fiance's work schedule because he is still working. He's considered essential. Um, so I am trying to keep track of that for him, um, I mean, and for myself, so I know, like, I can kind of plan when I need to stop working, um, during the day and stuff, you know, just so when he gets home, I'm fully present and all that. So, um, I like to keep track of little things down here on the bottom, so I don't really want to cover it up. Um... I'm covering up the 6 a.m. slot. I don't really, of course, here's my cat. Just a second. Let me get him off of the desk. Oh my goodness. Um, it's like they have a sixth sense, like cats and stuff have like a sixth sense for when you're doing something really important that they shouldn't interrupt. Um, they always interrupt anyways. So same with dogs. I'm sure you're gonna hear my dog bark in just a second because he just started growling. Um, and like getting all huffy and stuff. So I feel like he just wants some attention, but, um, why can I not get this lined up? I'm trying to cover up the 6 a.m. slot and get the side lined up. Okay, there. Um, so I think that's pretty straight. Okay. So there's that. Let me see. Do I have, I do have like a little bookmark thing. Sorry, let me grab it out of my little pouch that I have here on my desk. It's like full of random things that I use to like do planner stuff. So there we go. And I think that's really cute. I do have some leftover. Um, this is really random and I'm very surprised that I actually had these left over, but I have um, a couple, or I have some date headers from Planner Kate that I got a while ago. And this was like a very old version. It's obviously like mini kit 13. And so that's when she had the individual uh, headers and then she had strip headers here. Um, so I used the strip headers for a kit and then now I have the individual headers. So I was just going to use these to label the day. And I think I'm gonna do it like a little higher up maybe because we do have so many holidays this week. Like uh, Wednesday is the beginning of Passover, which I mean, it isn't necessarily something that I um, celebrate and we're not gonna be going to church or you know anything like that at this point um, due to everything that's going on. But I do like to mark just like the special holidays and then there's Good Friday and then Sunday is Easter Sunday. Um, so there's just lots of holidays. So I'm wondering if I can use like this bottom spot to put the little holiday stickers I have from the happy planner. I'm trying to get these straight. It's obviously really hard because there's no lines. Um, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, I feel like this week is pretty typical for the weeks as they've been going recently. Um, Trying to see if I can like see anything through here so I can get these like straight, but maybe not. Um, these weeks have been like pretty typical for my fiance and I. We're both still working, which we're very, very, very thankful for. 
Um, my work has gotten like absolutely insane over the past week and a half. Um, we're having to redo some big projects because they were based on like normal economic conditions. So we're redoing some big things. We have a very tight turnaround, like a project that we had spent essentially like three months on uh, now has to be redone in one month. So that's really fun. Um, so I'm gonna be very, very busy at work. Very, very stressful time. And then as I mentioned, my fiance, he's considered essential. So he, um, he works in retail. So he'll be out and about still, um, which again, we're, we're really thankful, but it's just a very interesting time. I feel like for everybody. So, okay. So there's that. I want to keep going and put together my sidebar. So I have this really cute little like <laughs> carrot, uh, carrot pattern. Um, that's part of the planner Kate sidebar. And so I'm going to put this over here. I think that's super adorable. And I really just wanted to use this for Easter. Like I kept on looking around for kits that I wanted to use. And I remember I had this one and I was like, oh, that's exactly what I wanted. So, um, let me think what else I think I'm going to put. Um, so I have, this is the sidebar. I just took the carrots off of here. And then I think I will keep track of a couple habits. Um, maybe down here. A lot of the stuff I'm focusing on is like self-care stuff um, because it's, I think everyone can relate that the situation we're in now has kind of a big impact on like mental health. Um, I mean, and physical, I've been like eating everything in sight. So there's that, but um, everyone kind of has to figure out how to deal with the situation as best as possible. And so I'm trying to foster some good habits um, that I can take, like not only through this whole situation, but also use afterwards. Part of that is like not depending as much on the gym to work out. I would like to take more walks around my neighborhood, which I've been doing, um, which is really, really nice. It just is a good way to like de-stress and all that kind of stuff. And I usually try to listen to like a podcast. Um, while I'm walking. So that's always kind of nice to have that. And then, okay, so I got these. What I'm gonna put here is I wanna put my Instagram post ideas. I just need some consistency in my life. So I need to write down my Instagram posts or what I at least kind of am thinking about posting. I feel like it changes every single time I go to post something. But, um, and then the only other thing I'm gonna put is this little like this week sticker. I don't know if you can see that this week. Um, and it just goes up here at the top. Um, this is also from the Planner Kate sidebar. And I don't know why they're not all like the same width. I feel like this is the same width, but like this is not. So I guess she just made it the width of maybe the column yeah that's what it looks like so this week and then I'll put like little to do's here just kind of like the general to-do list things that I can get done like whenever during the week um I'm going to keep this handy because I am going to put some type of to-do list somewhere in my spread um the other thing so let me actually do this so this is from the happy planner this is one of the happy planner sheets um, it has Good Friday, Passover, and Easter right here. So I'm going to be using those. Um, I think as I mentioned, I will be putting them like up here at the top. Um, and then I'll put here like my work from home um, stuff. And then I think we'll be good there. So let me do Passover just on Wednesday. Um, might be kind of hard to see on the pattern, but that's okay. Like I at least know it's there and it kind of catches the light when it hits correctly. Um, here's Good Friday. I'm off work on Fridays, so it doesn't matter if this, sorry, I just, my chair squeaked. Um, it doesn't matter if this like overlaps the eight o'clock 
by chance because I don't have to put in my Friday work thing. Though I might be working on Friday, let's be honest, because of how crazy everything is at work. Um, Passover, Good Friday, and then Easter. And this is, oh, I need to wipe this out too. Might as well just wipe this out too. And I am like super serious about staying home. Um, Arizona currently does have a stay at home order, so that's really good. But I think a lot of people aren't taking it seriously. And I think it's that way in a lot of places, which just, I don't know, so upsetting. But I'm taking it really seriously. I went to the grocery store today and if you all like have been following the news, they just kind of started recommending that people wear masks and I didn't have a mask today when I went to the store. But after seeing kind of everybody there, um, I just decided that I think next time I go to the store, I would like to have a mask. Um, so I'm gonna see kind of what I can figure out if there's like someone that can make one for me or whether um, I think actually my fiance has, um, like three or four N95 masks, um, that he's had forever because he does a lot of painting. Um, he paints like little hobby car things. Um, and it's really bad to breathe in that paint for an extended period of time. So he has a couple, so I might just take one of those and have it be like my grocery shopping mask. I don't know. I know that it's like once you wear one once you need to wash it or something like that. So I'm tempted to get like a reusable one or see if someone can make a fabric one or I don't know. But I bought enough stuff this morning for two weeks worth of meals and I shouldn't have to, I should not have to go to the grocery store again for two weeks. And so hopefully things are, you know, hopefully better. I mean, I say that and I am really, really hoping things are better by then, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm taking it seriously. I'm not going anywhere, <laughs> uh, for the next couple of weeks. And that is actually fine with me. I'm a total introvert. So in all reality, this whole staying home thing is perfectly fine. Um, but I'm also probably saying that because I don't have kids. <laughs> I know that People who have kids, I just, I don't know, hats off to you guys because I would not be able, I wouldn't be able to do it. I don't know. Maybe that's just me being like a inexperienced with children or whatever, but, or not having kids, I guess, not necessarily inexperienced with children, but um, I'm just like, I just don't know how people are homeschooling and all of that. Just so crazy. Um, where is my little... Thing. Here it is. So this is what I'm using to mark working from home. And then Thursday, I also work from home. Oops. It's very, very slightly off, but it's okay. And my fiance and I were planning to elope to Sedona at the end of this month on our original wedding date that we had planned, but I do not think that's going to happen now. Just with everything going on, there's a stay at home order and I know the people in Sedona are really, really wanting people to like quit coming up there. Um, Cause I think people have still been like going on vacation and heading up north. Um, and the Sedona, the folks in Sedona are like begging people to quit coming on vacation up there because they're just, everyone from down here is just bringing the sickness up north. Um, Cause Maricopa County, I live near um, Maricopa County or I guess in Maricopa County um, on the edges. Um, it's obviously the biggest concentration of cases because we have the largest population. Um, and so the more and more people that like travel up north are just taking it up there, which is awful. Um, so long story short, we are planning to elope 
and I highly doubt that's going to happen, so I don't know what to do. We really, really, really wanted to get married on April 25th. It's like a very important date to us and very meaningful, um, and so I don't really know what's gonna happen. Um, you know, it's just one of those things where it's just probably not gonna work out. So I'm gonna have to figure out when we're actually going to be able to get married. And we do have like our wedding date planned or like big celebration planned for December. But um, I mean, who knows if that's actually gonna happen either. Uh, so I guess we'll just have to see, you know, it's like one of those things where this has just completely taken everybody by surprise and nobody really knows what to do. So I don't know, we'll see, but that's just something that was really disappointing when we were kind of talking last week as we're kind of realizing like, I don't actually think that's gonna happen. And I had reached out to some people, like a photographer, which the photographer, you can easily take pictures from like a distance. So we're not necessarily worried about her, but we we're worried about like after the wedding, um, I think we wanted to like stay in a hotel. That's not a good idea. I don't, I think hotels are open, but I'm not just gonna go take a vacation for the sake of it. Plus my family won't be able to travel. Um, that was the one of the big things is like, I would love to have my dad and my sister there, but they're definitely not gonna be traveling. They live in Washington state. And so my dad was like, I don't even care. I'll just escape. Like I'll escape the state. I was like, dad, no, please. <laughs> like, I don't know crazy dad. I don't know if any anyone else's dad is like that, where he's like, I'm going to come see you get married. I don't care what they say. And I'm like, dad, you are like in your seventies. I am worried about you. Like, do not leave your house. Definitely don't come and see me get married at this point. I don't even think it's going to happen the way we wanted it to. So I don't know, just kind of crazy, crazy stuff. But Anyways, I feel like I'm super chatty today, probably because I've been locked in my house for like an entire week, but you know, everyone's seeing a different side of me because normally I don't really talk that much, pretty much ever, so that's a little bit different. Um, okay, so I need to start putting in some of the appointments I have um, on the 6th? I don't really think, oh, I do have a webinar on the 6th, um, and I'm going to put that one, like, in orange, because it's pretty important, and that is at, uh, 11 a.m. webinar for work. I'm having to, like, follow the economy, like, a lot of economic stuff. Stuff. So it's something about economics, 11 a.m. And I thought I made myself like webinar stickers, but I guess I didn't. I made meeting stickers, which I think I was intending to use them for like any meeting that came up. That's okay. Um, let's see, the seventh, I have a couple different meetings. So I have one at... 9 a.m. and one at, I think it's 12.30. I'll do pink and let's see, 7th at 12.30. I don't know if anyone else heard, but on the live, Instagram live video um, with Julie's plans and Erin Condren, she announced that we'll be getting like half hour lines in the life planner next year which I actually didn't use Naren Condren Planner when there was half hour lines, but I'm super excited because I'm tired of like this situation where it's like halfway in between. Um, so I am really excited for the launch of the new life planner. Okay, and then I am gonna use my meeting stickers for this. Um, meeting, that's kind of like big, but that's okay. Um, sticks out, makes it obvious. Okay, 
two different meetings that day and then the 10th or the 8th sorry I don't really have anything on the 8th at this point the 9th I have another meeting at 9 a.m and then I think that's it for work stuff what I've been trying to do is start work every day by eight o'clock or earlier. Usually I try to be starting by like 7.30 or so. My normal work time is like seven. Um, so I'm just trying to stay consistent. And that's my biggest thing for um, this like quarantine type thing is I'm just trying to get into a schedule. So I'm gonna work starting around like 7.30 or eight. I have lunch at like one, um, I finish at five. Um, usually I'll eat while I'm having lunch. So like I'm working eight to five or eight to six. Um, and sometimes I'll work a little bit more in the evening. Um, especially now with being so busy. So that's kind of like my whole thing. And then after work, um, usually my fiance is still working. So after work, I will go on like a walk, um, usually and listen to a podcast like I mentioned just like around the neighborhood um so I really really enjoy that it's just kind of a way to get outside and get some fresh air because it's kind of crazy being cooped up all day put this little weekend sticker in there happy weekend um and then I have a couple, I think I'll just put in the sidebar. I have a friend who is working on kind of like this virtual workout thing and she invited me to do a couple classes. So I'm gonna put them over here. One of them's uh, yoga and one of them is a hit class. And so I'm going to try to do those. Um, I think one of them is on, um, one's Friday and one is Wednesday. So I'm going to put those just the times in here because I need to see what my schedule is with work to see if I'm going to be able to do those. Um, so I'll be writing that in just a second. Um, other than that, I'm going to put in a to-do list. So I need to find where I just put my, um, where I put like the sidebar stickers. Sorry, I'm just like, and my little pile of stickers that I've been using and I just, oh, there it is. So I have this little ombre box. So I am going to put in a little to-do list over here and that will be good. I need to find like a, oh, I have little to-do stickers and so I can label that the to-do stickers um, and then from here I'm just going to be putting in like a few of the things that I normally do um, in terms of like my budget check my tending list um, I think that's pretty much it, I have little filming stickers because I am planning to film a little bit more consistently. My little meal stickers. So I'm just looking through, I have this little binder that I keep all my um, like Planner Kate stuff in and all my kits that I'm planning on using and like extra stickers. So um, yeah, I just keep all my Planner Kate stuff in here and that's all the stuff that I use like pretty much every single week. So it's really easy to grab them when I know that I have everything in one place. Um, I think that that is all I need. Just need one other thing. Okay. So yes, that is it. Um, oops, sorry. I was just putting my binder away. Um, I'm just going to speed through kind of the rest of this. Just, I know it's getting kind of long, so <laughs> I'm going to pull my little April sticker and put it up here. Sorry if you just heard my dog bark. I don't know why he's barking. He just like does a one random bark and I don't know why. <laughs> um, it's my payday on Thursday. So I'm gonna put that in um, like up at the top. Payday. 
And then because it's payday on Thursday, I will do my budget check on Friday morning. Oh goodness. I don't know if you can hear my dog, but he's wanting attention. So just a second while I go and I give him some pets. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. <laughs> he's just super needy at very random times. So had to go give him some attention. So I'm going to put in my tending list sticker so I can do my tending list Tuesday. Um, I think that that is good. I think I'm going to put a little like clean house sticker on Sunday. We don't have any plans for Easter and I think my fiance has to work anyways. So it's just going to kind of be like a normal day. Usually we'd probably head up to church or something like that and spend time with family, but obviously that is not going to happen this, um, this year. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is put in like a little meal sticker. Um, I will be tracking like the dinners I need to make down here. Just trying to decide which color I want to use. I do kind of like the orange because it goes pretty well. Really any color would go, so that's kind of the hard part. It's like I do pink. Um, I think I will just do, actually, this color. Um, hmm, no, I'll do orange. <laughs> I'm just like super indecisive. Um, oops. Oops, oh my gosh, that was weird. It just like flipped over randomly. Um, so I'll just do, I think the meals on this line. And then I need to figure out what I'm gonna put up here. I like using little hexagons as check boxes. Um, but to be honest, I would not mind if those just disappeared next year for the next life planner, but who knows what's gonna happen. Um, I usually use these to track my followers and subscribers for Instagram and YouTube. Um, so I will use these green ones because it matches pretty well with that color. And I'm just gonna put it down here on Sunday, kind of out of the way. And then the only other thing that I would like to put and I'm just looking around over here um, I'm just looking at the stickers that I have and everything is I would like to put in the videos I'm going to film or when I'm going to film um, and I think I'm just going to use these like little Erin Condren stickers that came with a colorful life planner um, I'll just do like these purple ones and just put in when I'm planning to film things. Um, so I think Friday I'll film. It really also depends on my fiance's schedule. Um, because I don't really like to just disappear when he's off, when he has the day off. I don't just like coming in and like filming stuff. Um, I would rather spend time with him. So, um, you know, if he has, if he has Friday off, then I will probably film on Thursday or something. Um, and then the other one is, I think I'm going to be filming on, hmm, maybe I'll film all my videos on Friday just to give me some more time. So I think I'll do that and I, I don't know, I think that that's it for this upcoming week. I might put in some additional things if I end up like going on walks or anything like that. I might put them in here. I do have um, like stickers for like binge watching um, or like any deliveries I have. So if my Erin Condren um, like warehouse sale gets shipped, then I'll put in like a delivery sticker. Um, you know, stuff like that. But I really don't have a whole lot else going on. Um, I don't have really any like wedding planning stuff. Kind of crazy, but that's just how it is. So um, the one actually 
thing is I usually put like a little dot with these so I can mark them off. So let me do that and then we should be all done. Just need to find them in my little thing. Okay, so this is a little sampler from Aaron or from Planner Kate. Um, I think I will put a little purple one here. And then I will put, I think, a pink one. Oops, I just like threw it. Um, put this little pink one over here. I'm trying to get it to cover up the whole 10 a.m. thing. There we go. And so then I can just check those off when I'm done with them and not have to worry about those going forward. So anyways, here is the finished product. And if you would like to see kind of how it ends up being finished, I'll post a midweek and I think a uh, like full spread at the end of the week. And, um, and then we'll see how it goes from there. I think I've mentioned this in past videos or maybe I haven't, but I have been filming a bunch of videos and then just not posting them. Like I film a plan with me and then I get busy or whatever and I end up not posting them. So you might see me posting more videos from old plan with me's over the next um, like couple weeks. Um, just I figure if I have the videos, I might as well put them up and edit them and everything, especially when I have some extra time. So keep a lookout for those. And then I might also post some additional pictures, you know, on Instagram of my finished spreads. Um, so then, you know, it's just kind of, I have extra time on my hands at this point, um, in the evenings and everything if I'm not working. So I can do that sort of thing. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and let me know if you have any questions about where I got anything. Um, I will be available on Instagram if you wanted to ask me on there, or you can just write a comment on this YouTube video and I will be sure to answer. But thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day and I hope you stay safe. Okay, bye.